Hello, hello. I hope this works. I've been having with my computer, I don't know if it's the keyboard or the mic, so I'm having this keyboard. So, yeah, well, that's right. His dream soft just got bumped on the head with a piece of yarn. <laughs> Daily eats asleep. <laughs> Little look on Rose's face there. She's going all creepy on his ears. John, check Rose's bookshelf. You eye your birthday package again, curiously. It's awfully tempting to peek inside, but you feel guilty about it for some reason, even though it's yours anyway. You suppose a perusal of her bookshelf would be harmless enough. Just a bunch of books. Knowledge within is meant for everybody. Dave pesters you with a message. TG. FDS day 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 V. F. 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 Which you decide not to bother dignify with half past the longer deal because it's probably just too big a trucky and When Jack asks again, so screw him. <laughs> John, look at the our book. The book. Number one New York Times bestseller, This Ocean Charles. The big man has the answers. Charles Barkley. <laughs> You find a book full of beautiful poetry and groundbreaking philosophical thinking by American sports legend Charles Barkley. These are words to cherish. This is a man to treasure. John, take book. <laughs> He's stolen Rose's books, okay. You capture log Rose's uh, autographed copy of this ocean, Charles. Jaws of wisdom like this don't just fall in your lap every day and shouldn't be Parted with lightly. You doubt she'll mind if you borrow her book. She's always trying to get you to read her weird books anyway. John, oh, just opened the package already. You can't take it anymore. You're going to see what's inside. <laughs> John. John. I never got to thank you properly for your gift. Yes, the words were there. Language comprising the familiar veneer of gratitude rubbing off with each tired favour traded for. A god blessed to sneeze or a few pennies cradled in a receipt. Perhaps this is a deplorable romantic in me, but I thought your present and your friendship demanded reciprocation as a passing by some degree the utterly meaningless that surprised me okay the proper thanks i thought would be a demonstration that your offering was not in vain yes maybe some would take a suggested alternative to my gloomy preoccupations as a passive aggressive jab but i know you didn't mean it that way in fact i'm sure reading about it now is the first time the notion has occurred to you john Please stop rolling your eyes. The letter is down here. <laughs> the gift in this box is a resurrection. I used your present to thread life anew into a shattered heirloom. As long as I can remember, its black, greasy appendages have been tethered limply to its ratty, porous carriage. Too delicate to wash, too dear to discard. I used to love this rabbit. Now he's yours. I trust you will find this to be adequately sentimental. Happy birthday. Rose. John, put the bunny back in the box. Chaos Dunk. Oh god. <laughs> this gift from Rose is so cool. Mewdy's <laughs> just eyes messing up down the screen. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Of course, he's a black cat. Oh. This gift from Rose is so cool. Two sweet bunnies on one birthday? What are the odds? 
In a fit of enthusiasm, you shut up and jam the bunny back in the box, executing a textbook chaos dunk. Millions would have perished if everything in the ocean weren't dead already, that is. John, take box. Did anyone else notice that the spurb symbol there turned to Rose's lavender colour? Um, when it was black and dark, meaty cheese spots. You don't like chaos. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like her stuck, okay. The fragile bunny back in the box, he capture log it. It is such a nice present. You'll have to write Rosa thank you note and tuck it under her hairband or something. Wait, no. That would probably be creepy. Yeah. This bunny reminds you that you still have a salamander in your Silidex. She is holding the bunny Dave got you. It's sort of uncanny how similar they are. Aside from the new enhancements. Seriously, what are the odds? So weird. John, deploy beloved daughter. You release dear precious Casey. She was probably getting antsy in that card. <laughs> you think you'll leave her here with Rose. A dangerous quest is nothing to embark on with a sweet, innocent little girl stashed in your inventory. You aren't actually sure if she is a girl though. You don't even know if salamanders can be girls. Aren't they hermaphrodites or something? I'm pretty sure they're actually male, female, but okay. You don't know anything about biology. Unless it is biology that has to do with ghosts and slime. But even then you don't actually know anything. You just sort of like to pretend you do. Looks like a troll is bugging Rose. <laughs> God, it's this conversation. <coughs> Join answer troll. Grim Auxiliatrix, GA began trolling technical therapist, TT. Oh, in terms of positions, I probably was heard. Ow. I am supposed to antagonise a few members of your trivial species. I have to start somewhere. And someone. So I am starting with you. And now. It's going to be pointless and unpleasant. Mostly for me. Actually, you know what? I'm not really feeling this at all. Goodbye. <laughs> She's not here right now. She's asleep. <laughs> okay, see ya. Is this your human sarcasm that I've heard about? That you always use? And that is basically a terrible way to communicate. Um, no? I thought that was the thing you did. You wrote human specifically. <coughs> Oh yeah, that's me. I'm the Rose Human. Look at me. I am so smart with all these snooty words and complicated things to say. I'm the Queen of Books. <coughs> wow. <coughs> okay, these are definitely insincere statements. Why do you work so hard at being so awful? <laughs> I'm so burned. These burns are crazy. Can we just cut to the chase and be friends already? These cat and mouse games are so dumb. You know, we just... <coughs> <coughs> going to all be friends at some point anyway. Have we spoken before? I don't know, uh, maybe? You know, it's hard to keep track with all your time nonsense. Now that I think about it, it is pretty conceivable that I will talk to you again in the past after this conversation. <laughs> That's because you guys always do things the hard way and the dumb way. <coughs> Don't mind me. Now I'm coughing. Oh. And that's because as well, blah, blah 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 blah. I should figure out how to the the. I should figure out how the viewpoint feature of this application works, so I can see what such a primitive creature looks like. <laughs> well, I know what you guys look like. 
you were kind of like Howie Mandel from Little Monsters. Even though, to be perfectly frank, he was kind of a big monster. Because he was a big, goofy adult. And Fred Savage was like his child prankster, prankster sidekick. <laughs> Is this an adversary you have encountered on your quest? No, it's a movie. You should ask John about it, because he thinks it's awesome. Which of you? <coughs> ah. Oh, sorry. It seems you put stock in John's assessment of things. Even really uninteresting things that are pretty terrible to listen to. He is either the leader of your party, or you hold whatever the human equivalent of mating fondness for him is. <laughs> yeah, I got him this really cool bunny for his birthday, and it's really nicely knitted and everything, because I'm basically in love with him. You're right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure John knows it's because I am really thoughtful, and I bet he really appreciates the present. And would say thank you if he were here. Okay. Human courtship is definitely a strange thing, and it's sort of blowing my mind listening to this. I think I'll talk to someone else now. <coughs> Why don't you talk to John? Maybe. When along his timeline would you recommend communicating with him? Oh man, I don't know. Well, why don't you pick the time that will make the most complicated mess out of everything imaginable? You know that's what you're going to do anyway. Considering that you're obviously not that smart, and basically understand whipping bug-winged fuckball about even the most elementary temporal mechanics, I am a bit comp bleh, I am a bit perplexed as to why I find myself so vehemently fondling the short end of the antagonism stick. <coughs> Kind of irritating. I'm going to talk to your comrades, this strong human, and figure out what's going on. Okay. If you talk to him in the past, he'll understand even less buggy whip fuck all about time and he'll be confused. So maybe pay something from this conversation to him? I don't know. And if you talk to him in the future, he'll probably know all this stuff, like I um things you've always said to him but haven't said yet. And then you'll be confused. Sorry, that's just how this works. Don't say I didn't warn you. Consider me fully briefed on the matter. Until next time, Rose. Next time. In the past. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Grim Auxiliatrix, GA, Cis, Trolling, Tentacle, Therapist, TT. <coughs> Why? Oh. oh my god. Oh god, how am I going to do TA? <clears throat> um, I know I've still got time left, but I think I'll go and leave it here because I am about to have a major rasper attack here, which is why I'm coughing. <clears throat> so, bye.